Chris, what is our third main topic today? Our third topic comes from Mike. So it looks like Avatar had another great weekend. Caught it again this weekend. So did Megan, which was also great. It looks likely that Avatar 2 will take the number six all-time worldwide box office from Spider-Man No Way Home by Thursday. Honestly, I think it has a very good chance to take the number four all-time worldwide by the end of its run. Never bet against James Cameron. What do you think? We have been talking on this show for a long time about it is a bad investment. It is a bad business to be in the doubting James Cameron business. Very bad business. Uh, because you always lose. You always lose. There's not been an example where you would not have lost if you bet against James Cameron, at least in the last 15, 20 years. It's a bad business to be in. And leading into this year, uh, we talked about, do with everybody saying nobody cares about Avatar, it's going to flop. No one's going to watch it. Nobody cares about it. And we've been saying, guys, this thing's going to be a hit. It's going to be. Now, even I, who have said, yeah, I could, it's going to make 1 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 1.7. It's going to be a big hit. Don't underestimate. Never doubt James Cameron. But, but I have to confess, even I said, but I don't see it making $2 billion, especially right now with the, the where we're at right now. As far as, uh, you know, uh, the, the climate, the we haven't gotten, the movie industry hasn't gotten fully back on its feet yet, all that kind of stuff. Still said it was going to be hit, still said don't doubt Jace Cameron, but I said, I, I don't know if I can see it hitting $2 billion. Well, guess what? It's going to hit $2 billion. It's going to hit $2 billion. Avatar The Way of Water has already crossed one9 It's just a matter of time now. The only question left is how high up the rankings will it go on the all-time list because as of right now it sits at number seven avatar there it is avatar the way of water is sitting at the number seven spot with 1.901 by the end of the day it will pass spider-man no way home for the number six spot because it only needs to make what another 10 million 14 million, 15 million. It's going to cross that today. The official report may not come out till Wednesday or Thursday, but guess what? By the end of today, maybe by the end of this show, I don't know. Avatar The Way of Water will pass Spider-Man No Way Home. Which, again, let me state, while I thought Avatar was going to be a big hit, make lots of money, don't, don't James Cameron, if you had asked me straight up a few months ago, will it pass Spider-Man No Way Home? I would have gone, I mean, it's Avatar, but I'm, I'm going to guess no. And here we are. Then after that, it's only 100 and something million to go until it passes Avengers Infinity War to crack the top five. And guess what? It's probably going to crack the top five. That means understanding now just on this list here, imagine right here, uh, Avengers Infinity War being replaced with Avatar The Way of Water. That means in the top five biggest films of all time, you're going to have Avatar, you're going to have Titanic, and you're going to have Avatar The Way of Water. Three, we mentioned this last week, three of the top five all-time box office films are going to be James Cameron films. Three of the top five are going to be from one guy's mind. Guys, don't sleep on that. That's insane. We want to thank a sponsor of this video, Masterclass. Masterclass offers classes on a wide variety of topics, all taught by world-class instructors at the very top of their fields. Each class is broken out into individual video lessons, usually around 10 minutes long. And Masterclass is completely accessible on your phone, the web, smart TV, and available via audio mode to listen to classes on the go. They have over 2,500 video lessons from over 180 of today's most brilliant minds. They're all available anytime, anywhere on iOS, Android, desktop, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. Now, obviously around here on the John Campus Show, we love our movies. So why not learn filmmaking from Jodie Foster or maybe directing from Ron Howard himself or the great Neil Gaiman doing his masterclass on the art of storytelling. And you guys have heard me talk about my 
favorite masterclass, Business Strategy and Leadership by Big Papa Iger himself, Bob Iger, the new and returning CEO of Disney. Guys, I highly recommend that you check it out. This holiday, give the perfect gift of an annual masterclass membership and get one free. Go to masterclass.com slash campia today. That's masterclass.com slash campia. Terms apply. Yo, sir, you look like you're going to say something. I was. Uh, what's really <laughs> interesting is if you look at the domestic percentage of box office with Titanic, which is 30%. Uh, now go down to Avatar, Way of Water, and look at the domestic take. 30%. 30%. This is why. Now, why do I think that's significant? Because we're, we're not even paying much attention to foreign box office. And foreign box office is going to help. I believe it's going to either... It's going to sit either between Titanic and Star Wars at the number four spot, or it's going to go above Titanic because of the international gross. Right. Now, now everybody in the world now agrees it's not going to catch the first Avatar and become the number no. one film of all no, time. No, no, no. But but I think it very well it very well could become the number three movie, uh, especially if you look at the whole because- So you think two point- essentially you think 2.2 2. is is within reach i think here. it's within striking distance absolutely and i think those four numbers but isn't it interesting that 30 percent? i mean avengers endgame also is, but but 30 percent. the reason that's so interesting is because normally 30 years ago most movies that were made in america had a much larger gross domestically than they had foreign yes the world has changed and now when a movie like this it it shows that james cameron his filmmaking for whatever reason, has a universality to it where it travels globally. And that's why Titanic, 30%, I mean, 70% of the rest of the world embrace Titanic. That's a hard thing to do. American comedies don't travel like that because it's coll colloquial humor. Humor is different from country to country. James Cameron, for whatever reason, he has a magic to his filmmaking that appeals on a global level across countries across genders across ethnicities cameron has the magical he understands what human beings around the world love and, and i don't way, know what that is but it's your, it's the power of cameron man to your point which is such a great point when you look at the first avatar its domestic box office made up 26.9 percent of its run avatar the way of waters domestic box office percentage has actually gone up so, and, and it's still, it's a good reflection of that balance between the international market, this. By the way, we just want to take a look at the weekend numbers itself. So, Avatar The Way of Water made another $31 million this weekend domestically, only dropping 32%. Megan, listen, we always talk about, if for a movie to have a good second weekend drop-off, it's between 50 and 60%. It only dropped 41%. Megan is, is a $12 million movie. A $12 million movie. All right? that is about to cross the hundred million dollar mark a tr for that a movie that was made for 12 million bucks is about to cross puss in boots only dropped one yeah. percent but the word the gospel of puss in boots <laughs> verily is being spread and people are going you should go check out puss in boots so a man good. called auto massively over isn't this an apple plus movie Yes, but I, it is in theaters. Yeah, but it's right. Not. But I'm just saying. Yeah. Hello, streamers. It. I mean, I. Another lesson to be learned. Honestly, I would have told you if you had asked me to put money on it, I would have guessed five or six million bucks. It's way overperforming. Plane made ten million dollars, which if you had asked me a month ago, I would have said plane one or two million dollars. It made ten. But here's an interesting thing about this weekend's box office. This is the first time. Now, somebody needs. I did not fact check this. All right. I did not fact check this. So somebody feel free to fact check this. But this is just what my. This is just what's. Uh, it seems to be kind of standing out to me. I cannot remember. I cannot remember a weekend where five movies were in double digits. Plane made $10 million. So that Plane, Man Called Auto, Puss in Boots, Megan, Avatar The Way of Water. I cannot remember the last time we had five films in the double digits. That's a really, that, like, it's great to have a hit movie like Avatar, but why this is really, a, I think, a great sign for the movie theaters. Like, if movie theaters, because they're still struggling right now, they're looking for something to hang their hat on. Yeah, Avatar being great, big, that's great, but that's a one time thing, blah, blah. I think they got to look at this and say, hell, even Plane made double digits. 
Man Called Auto, which was not expected to do double digits. Puss in Boots is still double digits. It's third week in. Megan, this little $12 million film, is still making double digits. That's a that's a good sign for them. You know what else, John? Look at the genres of film. Mm-hmm. You've got a throwback 90s action picture. In plain. A great, a great animated film in Puss in Boots. A heartfelt story about a man coming to grips with being his curmudgeonly self. And you've got a James Cameron movie. You have a diversity of all different kinds of stories being told. They're all satisfying their audiences. They're all delivering on the promise. And that they're good movies, even though they're wildly different in terms of genre. Chris, I mean, look, there's a lot of information here, but it, it looks like Avatar The Way of Water is cracking, is about to crack the top five, become only the sixth film in history yep. to join the $2 billion club. It's hanging in there well. The box office as a whole seemed, it's one of the best weekends for the box office if you don't just take a single film's performance. But I know, what is standing out to you here? Oh, Rob stole my point. Man, yeah. I was so <laughs> excited. Sorry. I was like, this is so diverse. What a r- wonderful, wonderful little grouping of films. Because it goes to show you when we think about demographics for movies too, it's this is a movie for this kind of viewer and that's it. And really, like, people can contain multitudes, you know? Uh, Taylor, you love Megan and Puss in Boots, I think mm-hmm. equally. Mm-hmm. You know, you can have both in your heart. And I love that here. I'm just real happy because back in CinemaCon, I was playing this game with the exhibitors of what was going to really be the box office king. And I said that Avatar Way of Water was going to cross $2 billion, So here we are. Very happy. Bet well, on me. I'm going to go bet on some ponies later. <laughs> the Puss in Boots hold is insane. It, yes. Because it's, it's so good. Great. Yeah. W- the w- word of mouth has gotten out about it. Listen, that and I get amazing. it because I was not, I liked the trailer. I did. But I was not a believer in Puss in Boots. Right? I, I, I wasn't, I didn't love the first one. And even though I love the character in the Shrek films, I did not love the standalone film. This is one of those, this is like a week by week release. The word's getting out about Puss in Boots and its hold has been incredible. And isn't it available on pay-per-view now? Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. And it still had a 1% hold at the box yep. office? Yeah. It's still number three at the Drop, box office. That's it's so ins- fun to see in theaters. That's but I still insane. think, I also think a lot of people have no idea it's available for, yeah. for rent online oh, that's possible. right now. I think mm-hmm. there's a lot of people that don't get that. Look, the box office is healthy. And it shows. Getting there. It's getting there. But this is, yeah, and, and we have a great, dude, there's a, I was looking at, I, I tweeted you guys the release schedule last For week. For 2023. Mm-hmm. Oh, Huge year. Well, I mean, stuff that we're not even talking about. I was like, wow. Yeah. I think this is a great, look, this is great for the business. It's great for entertainment. It's great for audiences. All right, guys. Question is for you. It does indeed look like, despite uh, what a lot of people said leading up to it, that Avatar, The Way of Water, is about to join that $2 billion club and it's going to pass Spider-Man No Way Home and it's climbing. It's probably going to climb into the top five films of all time. And plus, you had a weekend this weekend where you had five films in double digits. Again, maybe in 2017, that doesn't sound so... But that was five years ago. I can't remember the last time this happened. What is standing out to you? What do you make of all this? What do you interpret the tea leaves here? Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comments section below and let us know your... Thoughts.